Mario, huh? an area you just passed is perfect for an air base. If you like rough landing, naturally we will level it off. The dense boost that's joining it will provide adequate shelter for our men in case of a surprise attack. But the Americans, they are not exactly a fleet, Schmidt. Yes, but they are careless. It makes our job much easier. By the time they get wise, our air bases will be established. Great dumps of ammunition will be safely hit. Parachute troops will drop from the skies by thousands. We are nearing the waterhole. Four is to beat us not very far from there. Go down a thousand feet. Settle. Yeah. The same plane that was over last week, Dad. It's not an army plane or a border patrol. Anybody think you never saw an airplane before, Sue? She's all fired upset over this one. Nowadays, a strange plane is upsetting. And he added to all the other queer things that are going on around here. I don't like it. And I wrote the American Legion about it. The Legion? Yes, the post at Santa Fe. Well, that sounds kind of foolish to me. I don't think so. More, the commander should know all about this. I told him about the plane and the men we've seen going in the woods. I reckon they wouldn't pick this country just for a vacation. I wish I knew where Trigger Tim Rand was. He'd know what to do and how to do it. Nobody can beat him in the Badlands. Some of the men in the Legion know the Badlands. I guess you're right. I'm like a lot of folks. I do too much reminiscing and not enough acting. The idea of a parachute. This part of your map. The ammunition dump 63. Good job, eh, Philip? Size and weight exactly like the real ones. I hope your aim has improved. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me show you. Yes, right there is where we're going to hide our motorcycle squad. The trees are thick to prevent their being seen by scouting planes. But doesn't everybody live around here? <laughs> First, there's a population here can be counted on two fingers. A girl and her father. The only town is miles away. That's the reason why this part of the border is so ideal for our work. And for a future troop operation. Come on, we want to look over the airfield before it gets dark.
Okay, boys. Turn them loose. Funny, they let those horses go. Maybe they're practicing for a rodeo. You have the list, Bob? Yes. Good work. More lists of new recruits to the course. From farm and city, they hurry to join us. Send them across the border the regular way. Have you received the latest orders? A little while ago. I don't see how you get these things over the line. They've tripled the patrols on both sides. Everybody search for the fine-toothed comb. Don't worry, they'll never catch us. <laughs> Howdy, Thorpe. Hello, folks. Carl Schmidt, Mr. Henry Hess, Miss Sue Lambert and her father. How do you do? How do you do? You going to homestead hereabouts, Mr. Schmidt? In a way, yes. Uh, I represent the Land Development Corporation. We have been experimenting with the soil around here. Properly treated and irrigated, it uh, might produce excellent grapefruit. Uh, you're turning farmers off? <laughs> Not me. I gave Mr. Schmidt an option on my place. I've been buying horses for Mr. Thorpe. I got 50 head I'll make you a good price on. I'm sorry, I buy only for Mr. Thorpe. Do you always travel by parachute, Mr. Schmidt? Mm, parachute jumping is a great hobby of mine. If you refer to the uh, jump of the other day, which I presume you saw, I had to make it. This is most inaccessible country around here by motor car and have a poor horseman and long distance rides. We don't turn them loose either after going to all the trouble of catching them. Let's go, Dad. You said we had nothing to fear from them. We haven't. I have an agreement we catch horses at different locations. I don't mean that. But the girl is definitely suspicious and therefore dangerous. Come on. Look at us. Your friends, the Lamberts have been talking for. I believe you'll have to remove them from our sphere of influence. I'll take care of them. You'll take orders. I shall offer them such a tempting bait. They will snap at it like hungry fish. What about this legion business? If the government's best operatives fail, what can a bunch of flag wavers accomplish? <laughs> I think I'll send one of the boys to find out about that legion meeting anyway. I know there's been a lot of so-called brainstorms about this fifth column activity. But you know, maybe this Lambert girl has something. I think she's got too much imagination. I'm not so sure about that, Tim. You know, the government has traced the ringleaders out here to the Badlands. Two investigators have been murdered, and the third has never been found. <laughs> Takes more than a policeman's training to get along in the desert. Why are these agents operating out here? The enemy agents are all through the country, Tim. And the government can put their finger on every one of them, but they can't make an arrest until the ringleaders are caught. Otherwise, they'd only replace the agents. Now, you see, from air bases out here in the Badlands, it'd be very easy for planes to reach Los Angeles, New Orleans, Dallas, or even St. Louis in a very few flying hours. <laughs> they could put a whole army in those Badlands and nobody knows with a couple of jackrabbits. Now, we know they get their orders from some European power through Mexico, and that they, in turn, send lists of recruits and other vital information. The government wants us to find out how. How about it, Tim? Will you take the job? Where do I start? Well, three of the boys from the post went down last week with Charlie Hall. You know him. Hmm. Last night, I got word from Charlie that he needed help. That's why I called you in. You know that country. <laughs> I ought to. When I was at the Cattlemen's Protective Association, Lanky and I trailed rustlers all through that section. Remember? I remember. <laughs> but you know, I, I still can't understand how such a thing could happen here. That's the way we've all felt about it, Tim. And yet we've seen it happen in other countries, and still we go on sleepwalking. We've got to wake up. Well, I reckon you're right, Jim, but... You ready, Lackey? 
I'm never ready, but I'm always willing. <laughs> well, then you better start to untangle that long-geared carcass of yours and south. Here we go. By the way, Jim, where will I find Hall? He'll meet you at Eagle Rock. He and the boys are camped near there. Fine. Well, so long. So, so, long. so long, Jim. Come on, activity. Four o'clock. And at this time, we bring you a newscast of worldwide events. Fifth column activities make the headlines today. In New Orleans, federal agents raided headquarters of an organization. They made no arrests, but seized quantities of subversive literature. From the nation's capital comes a warning to all American citizens. Be on the watch for anti-American activities in your vicinity. Report your suspicions to your local government agencies. In Dallas, Texas, the Cattlemen's Association of the Southwest... Spies, that's what they are. Who? Oh, Sue's got a crazy notion that Thorpe's mixed up with a bunch of fifth columnists. It's not crazy. That man Schmidt, pretending to be a farmer, he... Good afternoon, Miss Sue. Is your father home? Why, yes. Come in, Thorpe. Hello, Sheriff. Hello. Meet Carl Schmidt. I'm here. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. I've been hearing about you. You're connected with some irrigation scheme, aren't you? Yes. I've come to make you an offer on your property, Mr. Lambert. Well, I don't want to sell, Miss. I've been doing a little prospecting. I've got a hunch that something might come of it. Well, every man has his price. What's yours? Didn't you hear what my father said, Mr. Schmidt? He said no. I reckon Sue feels the same way about this place as I do. But we're sort of partners. You won't sell? That's about it. Well, in that case, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Lambert. Good day. Good day. Here. And that man Schmidt at the back of it all. Ah, don't make sense, Sue. That's what I told her. Say, there's a barbecue at Stony Creek tomorrow night. How about taking dinner with me? Sue's taking in a string of horses just as soon as we can get them around the dark. Ah, I wish she'd give up this horse business. It isn't safe. Oh, she only takes them to the railhead. Just the same. It has her roaming around the Badlands alone for a few days. Not this time. She's coming back by automobile. <laughs> In that case, I reckon I can start looking for in a couple of days with an extra horse and a tow rope. <laughs> Lumber girl wrote them a letter. What are they going to do about it? Well, four of them are camped in an arroyo near Eagle Rock, waiting for Tim Rand. Trigger Tim Rand? Yeah. Who is he? Does he know you? No. But he got a rope on a pal of mine. He's the one gunslinger smart enough to ruin Smith's plans. Come on. What are you going to do? Discourage Tim Rand before he gets started. The Smith told us not to make any movies out his orders. You know what will happen to you if you cross him. This is an emergency. I'll take Schmidt any time before Tim Rand. But you don't even know what the Lambert girl said in the letter. We'll take care of the Lamberts, too. Does the sheriff know about this? I heard the post commander tell Rand not to trust anybody, even the law. Good. We're riding for Eagle Rock. Come on.
They'll never know what hit them. Old man Lambert's been dynamiting for a while. I know where to keep your stuff. But this will cause a wide open investigation. These Lambert's won't be around to tell Tim Rand it wasn't an accident. Where's Charlie Hall? Oh, he'll be here. They're camped over there in the Arroyo. Hey, look. Charlie Hall. Looks as though somebody's warning us not to go any farther. I reckon there's no need to go and see about the rest of them. No. Whoever did it knew he was going to meet me here. I brought him down here to greet me. How do you know that? It was a general sign. Whoever did it towed that body here so we'd find it. What is it? Well, I'll phone the post to send out for them. I want him alive. Dead men can't answer any questions. Somebody behind that rock. Jim Ray. Why, Ed Lambert. Do you hurt? Get your canteen off the set. How about that fellow that took a shot at him? Never mind about him now. This is more important. Lambert's an old friend of mine. Here, sit down, Ed. Well, it's safer back here. ago, I, I was dozing in a chair. A strange noise woke me up when I looked out the window and a man was running away from the house. I was just reaching for my rifle to take a pot shot at him and the whole world blew up under me. Hmm. You had a pretty narrow escape. Yeah, I was lucky. I'm sure glad Sue was away at the railhead delivering horses. Is Sue Lambert your daughter? Yes. Yeah. Has anything happened to her? Well, I don't know. I only know her name because I, I saw that letter she wrote to the Legion Post. Well, I'm afraid that's back of all this. I'm glad they sent you here, Tim. I'm worried. Well, I'll do everything I can, but well, how'd you get to this place? Well, I was here when I came to. Why didn't you head into town? I've been afraid to. They'd shoot me on sight. And well, you think Thorpe's the man that set off his dynamite, huh? I'm positive. Is he one of the men your daughter suspects? Yes. And she'll be back today or tomorrow. Now, we've got to figure out some way to keep them from finding out she's still alive. Say, is there a Mexican mixed up with this here pork? I don't know. 
Why? Well, there's one of them took a shot at us. We were looking for him when we ran onto you. A lot of them hang out in a cantina about a mile this side of the border. You might run onto him there. Well, that'll do as a starting place, but first we've got to get you out of here. Get you to our camp. I did only score as reason. There are more ways than one. Not here. Come on, boys. Let's go out the back way. Sharpshooting Sammy himself. No, no, I'm not Sammy. I'm Gringo. If you were born north of the Rio Grande, I'm a Chinaman. No, no. They call me Gringo because I speak the English so good in Chihuahua. They didn't teach you to shoot so good in Chihuahua. I only want to show that this climate is very unhealthy for some people, Senor Ram. You seem to know me. No, of course. Gringo, he never shoots at strangers. Another thing. When I really make for shoot, I do not hit the ground. Sorry? Thank you. But Tim, that's the guy that took a shot at us. I thought you wanted to talk to him. I do want to talk to him, but not here. I'll arrange a private conversation with that fellow. Better be careful, Senor. He's a Chihuahua kid, a very bad hombre. What do you suppose his game is? I don't know. West Thorpe found out I'm here and sent that fellow to try to scare me out. Where are you going? I'm going to call him. Call him? Call him that Mexican hand. You wait here. Wait here? All I get to do is wait here. Never get to go anywhere. Senor. Bien. Don't waste the time on the compliments. You're very busy now. You see me a lot. Adios. Come on, boys. Let's make a break for it before the whole canteen is after us.
Come on, let's go get her. I'll take care of them later. I'm going after him. Wait a minute, I'm going with you. You get back to Lambert as fast as you can. You're too valuable to wait. Valuable. Finally caught up to you. Now, what's this all about? Well, you'll talk whether you want to or not. I'm going to take you back to camp with me. Senor Rand, you have to take on one big job. Look. Un momento, ¿qué hace usted detenido? Un momento, señor oficial. Yo soy Juan Rodríguez de la Policía Nacional. El señor americano es mi amigo. Oh, perdone, capitán. No la había reconocido usted yo con ese inventario. Tuve que usarla para seguir unos extranjeros que se filtraron por la frontera al otro lado. ¿Con los americanos? Sí. Y hay que pararlos cuanto antes. Antes de que hagan daño allá o aquí a nosotros. ¿Y el americano? Deje usted por mi cuenta esto. Él es mi amigo. Siga usted su ruta. Muy bien. Hasta la vista, capitán. Hasta Adiós. luego, señor. Adiós. Mexican National Police, eh? Si, senor. You're in Mexico now. We too have a border patrol. But I thought you were the Chihuahua kid. <laughs> That's what everybody else thinks. But I happen to be working on the same case you are. You mean you're working on this fifth column stuff too? Si, senor. But I have orders to keep out of the States. <laughs> well, I've had orders not to meddle in your affairs either. But what's to prevent our working together anyway? That's fine. But what about our governments? Maybe they don't like. Our government? Maybe they don't know, huh? Well, it'll soon be daylight and you've got a lot to show me, so let's be moving. Muy bien. They're certainly looking after this border. We no sooner get by one than another shows up. Look. He's letting those horses pass. Sure, and why not? They cannot read. They've been in running into this country before there was a border. Those horses give me an idea. Come on, let's head them off the pass. Here they come. Well, what do you want with those horses? Never mind, take your rope down. Help me tie onto a few of them. If too many killings already, I would have your throat cut. The Lambert wrote the Legion. I know it. Here. There's a copy of the letter. How did you get it? Nothing is impossible for the cause. He named nobody. 
All we had to do was lie low for a few days, keep the plane out of sight, and everything would have blown over. But no, you had to go on a murder spree. Nobody can trace those killings or anything else to us. All the witnesses are dead. That Lambert girl isn't there. What do you mean? I just saw on the road from town fixing her car. So, all the witnesses are dead, huh? You bungler. They must stop her from reaching the sheriff. I'll attend to it. Let us see you. Oh, no. My lord. You take the voice and go after the girl. And remember, no gunplay under any condition. Mm -hmm. We can afford no more mistakes. Stop, you ride to town and keep your eyes on the sheriff. Bring the girl back here. And remember what I thought, Mario. No harm to the girl. Right. Listen all, boys. And the next time they remove somebody, we'll do it across the border, so there will be no chance for a failure. Come on. All right, you can turn these loose. Turn that one loose, too. What do you look for, Senor Rand? I'm not sure yet. Ah. Look here. Hmm. It is a secret message. We brought, I'd say, to our friend Schmidt in Mexico. We make the arrest pronto. Our kept. Our job's only half done. All we know is how these messages get back and forth across the line. That doesn't do us any good, but we can find out at least get the evidence on the man that received them. That's right. Oh. <whistles> oh. Oh. Yeah. Now let's get a look at this map. Now oh, let's see. Where are we? Yeah. I get it now. You get what? Well, look here. There are only two water holes in this part of the country. One down here and the other one five miles north of the border. That's right. <laughs> no wonder they never suspected them. Too simple. What do you talk so funny, thing? Well, look, all I have to do is rope the horses here, put the messages on them, haze them away from the water hole, and where they're going to go? Right back over the border. And so he do the same thing at the other water hole. Sure. Simple, isn't it? Sure. And now all we've got to do is keep our eye on Fort, find out where his hideout is, and we catch him. What's going on here? She's running away. Stole this car. That's not true. My name's Mildred. Get 
Put your hands up, you two. Get the guns, Lex. Are you all right, Sue? I'm all right, Dan. No, I'm Thorpe. That was the Chihuahua kid. I saw this other one riding away from Lambert's with him right after the explosion. Not so loud. She doesn't know about her father yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheriff. What's your name? Maybe a few days in jail. Loosen up your tongue. But, Dan, you're making a mistake in arresting these two men. They saved me. <laughs> that was a frame-up to get you to trust them. What would they want with me? Well, ma'am, I, uh... I want you to go to my house, Sue, and wait for me. I'm taking these birds through the path. But I was on my way home. Your dad's away. He asked Mom to put you up for a while. Where is he? Well, I'll explain when I get home. Come on, you two. narrow trail down there to cover me. this rock. You see, I had to escape. Thorpe wanted me held in jail long enough to give him a chance to clear out. Does Thorpe know you're working for the Legion? Well, he must or he wouldn't have lied to have me arrested that way. Well, what are you going to do now? We've got to pin this thing on Thorpe and Schmidt before they have a chance to get away. Of course, as soon as the sheriff finds out what Sue's got to tell, he'll arrest him and hold him for investigation anyway. Do you think Sue is safe? She is as long as she's at the sheriff's. You've convinced me that he's not in on this. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you, Tim. I wish I could do something. You can. I'll do anything. I want you to let Thorpe capture you. Why, he'll shoot me on sight. Not if you do as I tell you. You see, as their prisoner, you can lead us to the hideout and maybe uncover some evidence while you're there. I reckon that's the least I can do. Well, you're not going to leave me behind this time. Why, sure. If you want to be in his way. Be in his way? Well, I'll go on. Ay, caramba, que tengo que tolerar este pedazo de alcohol. You're no good. Who's no good? Why, What's if, the matter? If, if, if Senor Thorpe won't blow at you, you'll fall over. Why, you... Now, you know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No time for a horseplay. This is yeah. serious business. Ed, this is a dangerous job you're on, but we'll cover you every moment you're with them. What do I do first? Go back to that water hole and pretend you've been wandering around out of your mind. Ever since the explosion. After that, why... There goes our last list. Now we got to get that girl before she talks to the sheriff. And how are you going to do that? Let our smart Mr. Smith figure that out. It's Lambert. Wait a minute. Schmidt might want to use him. Oh.
Here. Here, Mr. Lambert. What's happened? Who are you? Looks like she's going to work, senor. Uh, I don't know anything about an explosion. I, I want to go home. Sure. Sure, you need food and rest. Come on, we'll take you home. Let's wait here. Those guards might see us. But they might kill the old man in there. Schmidt's too smart for that. What do we do now, senor? We just wait here and see what happens. Oh, I know my dad's death wasn't an accident, Mrs. Kirk. I'm sure of it. But Sue, dear, Dan made a thorough investigation. They were dynamite. Dad wasn't that careless. He couldn't be. Schmidt and Thorpe are at the back of this all. I'm going to the Legion. All right, honey. But I won't let you go alone. Promise me you'll wait till Dan comes home to go with you. All right. That's it. Now try and rest for a while. You're tired. I'll go in and fix something to eat. Don't be afraid. I brought a message from your father. My father? He's he... not dead. But he will be unless you do as this note says. But where is he and who's holding him? I can't say. I'm looking to go between two because I know you and your father. This note was brought to my house. How do I know this isn't a trick? It's his handwriting, isn't it? Yes, but... Tom, we'd better hurry. Sue's gone. Where? I don't know. She spoke of going to the Legion, but I found this in the swing. Must be the Chihuahua kid and his pal. 
They wanted to get her before she could talk to me. What's the trouble, Dan? I'm not sure, but I wish I'd listened to Sue a long time ago. Where are you going? Get some of the boys and find her. What's up, sir? I've been giving you a short course in international politics. Lesson one. We leave no clues or evidence behind. Lesson two. Border patrolmen are suspicious of corpses going across the land. You'll not get away with it. Not while Tim Rand's in this country. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Lambert regains his faculty. <laughs> By the time you stupid cargo detective gets out of the present difficulties with his own law, we shan't be in this country. She'll be missed. No, sir. Lesson three. Miss Lambert is so fond of writing letters. She surely won't mind writing a little note to her young, handsome sheriff that she's going away on a vacation for a little while. What's happened? They're still in there, but the horses are being saddled. They'll try to make a getaway before the sheriff finds out Sue is gone. We're going to have to act before he can gum things up. But uh, the caballos, what about the horses and the evidence? Oh, we haven't time for that now. We'll probably find everything we want in there. Well, not if they burn it up, you won't. Look at that smoke. And the guards, too. Look, well, we'll take care of them right now. I'll get the one over by the rock. You come with me. When? All right, put him up. Come here. What are you doing, sneaking uh, around uh, here with a handful uh, of rope? No, señor, no, no, señor, que mire que yo me encontré estos dos lazos por allá tirados y, y como, bueno, no los vi, vi la I casa. Don't, I don't know what you're talking about uh, now. No, 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 señor, que no, que mire, más dale que ponga, que ponga la cosa para allá, porque mire, yo, yo no tengo vacas, usted tiene las vacas, ¿por qué no agarra ese, ese lazo aquí? Speak English. No, señor, ponga el rifle para allá, mire. No vaya a disparar eso. Put your hands in the air, drop that gun. Ahora sí, cabrón, Do you think I'm safe? Yeah, as long as they're on this side of the border, it's a pretty smart hombre.
Tim Rand. Down. Hold him up until I get finished here. Well, how many does that make? Four. All right, boys, hold it. Take care of them, boys. I'll get the other one. Where's Sue Lambert? Thorpe's got her. Stop lying. I know Thorpe. Where is she? The sheriff and Rand are both outside. The sheriff thinks Rand's got the girl. We can get away if we hurry. Out the back door. What about that? That's the top. We'll be at the high seas before they catch up with us. But I tell you, I'm here for the American Legion. My name's Tim Rand. Rand's no kidnapper. No, but Thorpe is, and he's holding Lambert and his daughter in that cabin. You're not getting away this time. Start moving. Where's Thorpe and Schmidt? They went out the back door. Hey, wait for me. I can't make it. They said something about the high seas. Oh, I think I know where our boyfriend has gone. He couldn't let those fall into the hands of our enemy. That cleans it up, eh? Until the storm is passed and they realize we have to travel for them. <laughs> Such puny efforts can never prevail against the cause. You're just wrong that time, Mr. Schmidt. Stand where you are. Kirk, I'm sorry I had to stop you, but I couldn't figure out any other way. Too bad somebody couldn't have knocked some sense into me before. But you don't have to worry from now on. Every able-bodied man in San Jacinto County will be on the alert. Well, I hope every county follows your example. The only way to deal with these traitors, they're everywhere. Thorpe has given me the location of every ammunition dump and gun emplacement in the Badlands. We'll take care of them. And in Mexico, amigos, we're catching them like rats in the trap. <laughs> well, adios, amigos. Adios, Tim. Good luck. No, Senor Lanky. This is one time you win without a fight. My work here is done. Adios, senores. Adios, amigo. Viva Mexico.